Let's see how to create a question paper section wise in question paper AI. To generate a question paper, you have two options. Either click on generate QP from the dashboard or navigate to the question paper tab and select create new. So let's proceed by clicking create new in the question paper tab. Once selected, you will be prompted to enter the necessary details to generate the question paper. So begin by entering the examination name. So I am entering the examination name as internal exam. Following that, select a suitable question paper template. So you have the option to choose a predefined template according to your preferences or create a new one if necessary. Next, based on the selected template, the institution type will be set as college and the institution name will be automatically populated according to the chosen template. So moving forward, specify the program such as BSc Chemistry. Next, input the course code and the corresponding course name such as Organic Chemistry 1. Please note that these details are provided as examples for illustration purposes. So once all these details are entered, proceed by clicking Next. Here, select the option Generate Section Wise as we intend to generate the question paper section by section wherein the questions for each section will be generated separately. So after selecting this option, proceed by clicking on Generate. Now you will see a blank question paper. So the next step involves generating questions for each section and inserting them accordingly. So for that, click Add Questions which is found at the bottom of every section within the paper. Upon clicking Add Questions, a window titled Add Question will appear. So here, the first step is to select the input type based on which the questions will be generated. So the input types can include topic, content, syllabus or even outcome. So for this demonstration, let's select topic as the input type. So after choosing the input type as topic, the next step is to select the knowledge level based on the Bloom's taxonomy. So this selection determines the cognitive level at which the questions will be generated. So you can choose from various knowledge levels such as remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and creating. Multiple selections are possible here. So by default, understanding and applying levels are usually selected, but these can be adjusted according to your preferences. So following the knowledge level, the next step involves selecting the difficulty level. So here you can specify the desired difficulty of the generated questions uh, such as easy, medium or challenging. So similar to the knowledge level, multiple selections are possible here as well. So the default setting is usually medium, but you have the option to modify it according to your requirements. So for this demonstration, I'll choose the medium difficulty level. After selecting the knowledge and difficulty levels, the next step is entering the topic for generating questions within the section. So for demonstration purposes, I will input a random topic here. So subsequently, click on the search icon after entering the topic. So it may take a few moments for the questions to be generated based on the provided topic. So once the questions are generated, they will display along with their respective knowledge levels. So you can choose the questions you wish to include in the section by selecting them. Since I require 10 questions in this section, I will select a total of 10 questions. So after making the selections, click on insert to add the chosen questions to the section of the question paper. So now repeat this process for the other sections by adding questions until all sections have been populated. So eventually you will have all the necessary questions added to the question paper. Furthermore, you can view the answer key for each question included. After successfully adding all the questions to the respective sections, proceed by clicking on preview. So this action will allow you to preview the question papers in two formats with only questions or questions with answers visible. 
So from the preview, you will have the option to download the question paper. So simply click on the download button to obtain the question paper either with or without the answers depending on your selection during the preview. So you can find such generated questions listed under the question paper tab in questionpaper.ai platform. So for every generated question paper, you will have the following options such as copy, edit and delete. When you wish to duplicate the entire details from the generated question paper, and create a new paper using the same information, click on this icon. Next, edit. So this option allows you to make any necessary changes to the generated questions if required. So you can modify the content or update any details within the questions. So if you want to delete any added question and replace it with another, you can do so here. Additionally, you can use the editor to format questions such as making text bold, italicized, etc. Next is delete. So here you can delete specific questions if they are no longer needed or if there are any duplicates or errors that needs to be removed. And that's how you generate questions section wise in questionpaper.ai. Thank you.